Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time to my channel, hi, my name is Sarah. My channel is kind of just like a cluster of videos at this point. Today's video specifically, I always clap my hands. Today's video specifically is going to be actually finally another one in my wig series. Basically the point of this wig series is to kind of teach you guys more or less what to do with wigs to achieve certain looks and a lot of the time the wigs you buy online or the wigs you get from friends maybe or whatever the situation is, they don't come to you exactly how you want them. And for this video I wanted to show you guys how to dye, specifically how to dye a synthetic wig. So this is not going to be the tutorial on how to dye a human hair wig because those things are freaking expensive and I don't make any money off of YouTube. The wig that you're going to see in this video was actually this wig right here, which came to me a completely different color. And obviously I will be showing you guys how to obtain this exact color, but also just like how to do any color that you want with any kind of wig that you want to deal with. <sighs> so without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this color, or any color really. There are multiple methods to doing this one. I'm going to be showing you today is a method of using markers, specifically permanent markers. If you're interested in the actual method of using maybe acrylic paint or such, Alexa Paletti here on YouTube has a very informative video on how to do that, which I will leave linked below. But I find this method to be more accessible for everyone else, as it was easy for me to gather the materials that if I can do it, you can definitely do it. You will need a combination of ink and alcohol. The way I'm using ink is by taking apart a permanent marker, which is also alcohol-based, and adding it into the spray bottle with more alcohol in it. The isopropyl kind, not, not the drinking kind. Whichever method you're using though, you will need a light colored wig. Technically, as long as your wig is lighter than the color you want it to go, it should work out. However, do keep the color real in mind with any of this. The most ideal way to start off is with a blonde or white wig as you cannot bleach synthetic hair at all. Also, always have latex or vinyl gloves handy as this can get very messy. You'll also want to work in an area that you can get messy or adjust accordingly. I personally put my hair up as it's longer than shoulder length hair and it seems to just like get in the way. To take the ink out of the marker though, you will need some kind of grip, like pliers, whatever you want to use. You're going to take the cap off as usual and take the grip and force the middle component out. Then just take out the ink, cut the ink strip in half, hot dog style specifically. And then take your grip again and take the pen tip out for even more color. You want as much color as you can possibly get out of this. And then drop that into your alcohol and let it sit. I left mine for about 24 hours, but like I said, any amount of time is really good past about an hour or so. Comparatively speaking, as Alexa states, you need about half and half if you're going in with acrylic ink root. But for markers, you will need quite a few. I think I ended up using about five or six for the entire head. I did put my wig on a mannequin head and then onto a tripod and to secure it I put a pin in it, quite literally. But back to the color though. But that's also because I was going for a very light color. You probably wouldn't need nearly as many if you were trying for let's say a darker color like purple or blue as darker colors always tend to cover better. More factors that come into play with that though is going to be how light or dark you're wanting the color to actually be. If you want it to be lighter, obviously add more alcohol to dilute the color or if you want it to be more concentrated and intense, add more ink. Now it's time for the spray. I started with an overall spray, honestly, mainly to test out the color, but I wouldn't recommend a test strand onto your wig just straight away if you're going to be using a darker color. Mine was light enough, fortunately for me, that it was fine, then I continued by sectioning the wig weft by weft. There is literally not a single hair on this wig that isn't connected to a weft. Take advantage of that. Pulling through and messing around with my hands to further saturate and continuing all the way up. Be sure to look through it all though, you don't want to miss any parts and then have to go back because the drying time can take a while. It should be dripping with the mixture that you've made, this is why you want a securely clean area. Or a securely clean work area or a disposable work area I guess.
Past this, you will need to let it dry depending on the length or the thickness of your wig. This could take up to an hour to a handful of hours. I left mine overnight just to be sure that the ink had set in so that it was saturated as possible. And then you're going to need to wash it or the ink could possibly transfer onto your clothes or your hair or I mean if your hair is light enough that is. Wash your wig in cold water until the water runs completely clear. You can definitely allow it to dry on a towel to further soak up any remnants of the water or just put on your sink's head as I have. I let mine dry for a few hours once it's completely dry though. If your wig is styled straight, you can definitely brush through it, but I wanted to keep my wig shape as much as possible, so I left it as is and then changed the style around a little bit. But besides that, you are done. And you have now learned how to dye a wig using one method. As I said, I will post the other one from Alexa Paletti in the description box down below just to tell you that you do have more options. But that is it for today's video. I do hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one.